You want somebody to bash Fox News on no, CNN? No, I'm not asking you to bash Fox News. I'm asking you to yeah. be honest. Yeah. about what happened on Fox News, about the lies that were told and them having to admit the lies and paying the largest defamation settlement to a media company in history, and you are a frequent guest on that network. Are you concerned about the credibility? Are you going to continue to go on that network even with those credibility? I have far more concerns with the credibility of what we will call the mainstream media than I do with the credibility of Fox News. But Fox is a mainstream media. At the end of the day, what I say is, Look, neither you nor I know the details because they settled it before it went to trial. I think the obsession, I think obsession over this is a little weird. Listen, it's a little bizarre. I don't want to get into that. There's real issues to talk about in the country. Why are we talking about Fox News and settlement? This is a very big and important story. I'm not going to. We have much more that we want to talk. I think we should about. But we will get there when we're ready to get there. We have you on to talk about these issues. This is a very important issue, and it should not be downplayed. This has to do with American democracy. And Americans learning the truth about what happened in the 2020 election. You want to know? What, you yeah, I hear important? this. I hear a lot of. I mean, my comparing it to CNN is not. This apples and oranges. It's not the same thing. Well, it's you know different networks. Yes, apples aren't the same as oranges. You get one view through CNN, you get a different view through Fox News. I think that's good in our marketplace of ideas is that we have media that offers diverse perspectives. And you want to talk about threats to our democracy? One of the threats, and I and that phrase is an interesting one. Threats to our democracy. I think one of the biggest ones is the chilling effect on speech in our country more broadly. Where if somebody says something that a broad segment of the population or certain people in the government disagree with, there's an increasing trend in our country to silence that. And the answer to bad speech and alleged misinformation is not less speech. It is more speech in the marketplace of ideas. That's actually what a free press okay, well, really means. Let's, we're we're going to move on, but let, yeah. the, your answer was good. But it's not about what's actually happening. It's not relevant to what's happening. I think the answer to what happened at Fox News is to tell the truth. Media companies are tasked with telling the truth. That did not happen in the situation. And that's why we're asking these questions. But let's move on. Let's talk more about a diverse exchange of ideas. That's what I'm in for. Thank you. Glad you're here this morning.